Okay, so welcome to this uh, discussion on um, differential calculus. So we're in, we're gonna um, first have the introduction to calculus and differential calculus itself. So in this video, we will know what is the meaning of calculus, who are the forerunners or the founders of calculus, and what are the different divisions of calculus before we go to the exact definition of differential calculus. Okay, so we have first calculus. So the word calculus uh, derived from the Latin word calx, which means stone, and from a Greek word chalice, which means limestone. So basically, calculus came come from the word stone itself. No, so calx, which is the Latin word, and uh, limestone uh, chalice, which is the Greek word. But the actual definition of um, calculus is it is the it is the branch of mathematics so concerned with instantaneous rate of change and the submission of infinitely many small factors. So that's why we could um, relate um, the submission of stones so that so stones or the submission or, or the uh, rate of change of a certain uh, small object. So we could have the term as stone or pebbles. So that's why the term calculus comes from calx or chalice which means stone itself so in the definition of calculus we have here the two um, two uh, terms or terms itself so we have the instantaneous rate of change so this one and the summation of infinitely small factors so these two are as we say is the essence of calculus so we are trying to find the rate of change instantaneously of a certain function or a certain phenomenon and we are also trying to get the summation of those changes so summation of those changes or the infinitely many small factors so the the instantaneous rate of change is tackled on, on, on a division of calculus and the other one the summation of infinitely many small factors is also tackled on another uh, division of calculus which we are which later we'll be talking about okay so Gottfried Wilhelm von Leibniz and Sir Isaac Newton are considered the founders of calculus so there is a certain uh, story about this one so Gottfried is the first one to publish his work about calculus but Sir Isaac Newton is the very first one who studied calculus. The the only drawback to him is that he uh, he is uh, late in publishing his work. Then we have the four divisions of calculus. So first we have differential calculus, no? differential. Then we have integral calculus, differential equation, and the calculus of of variation. Okay, so differential calculus. Of course, we will be tackling the exact definition of this of the of this uh, division of calculus. So it mainly focuses on the rate of change. Okay, so let's just change this one into our. So this is the part of the calculus which tackles on the rate of change. So either the rate of change of certain function or certain phenomena. So it is uh, quite. Um, tedious enough because we are because the differential calculus is the introduction itself to calculus so in which we are going to uh, tackle about the uh, the derivatives the limits and the the applications of the first applications of calculus we have also the integral calculus so integral calculus deals with the summation So it is now the summation of the many small factors, infinitely many small factors. Then we have the differential equation. So it is the the study in which we are going to solve uh, equations with differentials. So the, the applications of the theories and the concepts of differential equation is uh, mainly used in physics, in chemistry, 
then also in especially in um, engineering we have calculus of variation it tackles on uh, how a certain function a certain phenomena will behave if we are going to cause a change on the uh, on the equation itself so that that's why we have variation so we have our own um, a concept of variation in algebra but in this division of calculus we are now trying to uh, solve or to know what will what will be the effect if that variation will occur on the differentials itself so that is the calculus of variation then we have differential calculus so the actual uh, definition of differential calculus so it is the branch of mathematics which deals with derivatives and limits so that is the main um, uh, the main uh, co uh, the main coverage of differential calculus the derivatives and the limits of course we are going to know what is the definition of limits and derivatives in the later video but the differential calculus mainly focuses on those two derivatives and limits so differential calculus was made or was um, uh, formulated or discovered uh, for us or for mathematicians to have a way on understanding what are derivatives and limits okay so that will be all for this in introduction to calculus and itself the differential calculus so thank you for watching this video and as always enjoy learning